Hey there guys, it is C1 Lewis here, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad on iOS 10.2. You do have to have a 64-bit device in order to do this, and this method will not work on the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 7 Plus. So let's get right into it. First of all, you want to go to this website, which will be linked in the description down below. You also want to go to Cydia Impactor, which will also be linked in the description down below. You just want to download Cydia Impactor for your operating system. It will download in a zip format. You can unzip this with any unzipping tool. I'm just going to go ahead and download it for Windows, since that is the operating system I'm currently on. You can see it's downloading just there. This is the actual jailbreak app and where we download it from. If you're doing it for any device other than iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, you'll download it from this link. However, if you're doing it for the iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, which is a different method, you'll download it from one of these links. So, since I'm using it on the iPhone 6, I'm just going to go back up to the top and use that link. You just want to click the IPA that has in brackets Cydia Impactor. Once we've clicked that, it'll go ahead and download here. You also have the iTunes icon instead of the icon that mine's got. It's just that I mess about with a lot of software for my iPhone or my computer, so mine has that icon. Once it's downloaded, we can just go ahead and drag them to our desktop. So first of all the IPA and now Cydia Impactor. We can X out of your browser now. And you just want to extract all of the files inside of the zip file. You can do this by dragging it out like that or by just right clicking and clicking ext extract just like this here. So now you want to right click on the Cydia Impactor icon and make sure you click open not run as administrator. At this point we want to connect our device to the computer. We do this by getting the USB cable, plugging the the USB end into the computer and the lightning end into your iDevice. As you can see the computer's recognized our device. You also might come up with an iTunes error or it might open iTunes, just X out of iTunes of the error. And on your device you want to press trust if it comes up with that. Once you've done all that, what you want to do you just want to go over to the IPA and you just want to drag it into Cydia Impactor. Now you want to put in your Apple ID and password. Click OK and now put in your password. You've got nothing to worry about, this does go straight to Apple to sign the application. Now once you've done that, hit OK. And you'll probably get a warning message in a few seconds. Here we go. This is the warning message I was on about, just click OK. And it will continue. Now it says the process is completed, so we should be able to just X out of impact and now, and we can delete all the files on our desktop if you want to. I'll just go ahead and highlight them all here, and of course you can delete them now. 
now I'll meet you guys on my iPhone. Alright guys, so now that's appeared on our device. If we go to open it, it'll say untrusted enterprise developer. So to fix this, we just go over into settings, down to general, down to profiles and device management, and down to your Apple ID. Click trust, and trust again. Now if we go to the home screen, we should be able to open the application. Now what you want to do is click go. I can't show you guys clicking go, me clicking go because it'll stop the recording and it won't save the recording. But when you click go, it might go up with storage full or storage almost full. Just ignore it, it doesn't mean anything. It's part of the exploit that makes the jailbreak, gives you root access and makes it work. So I'll be back once I've clicked go. Alright guys, I am back now. All I've done so far is unlock my phone and start this recording. That's all I've done, nothing else, since I've rebooted my phone and clicked go. All of these tweaks, the dark mode, this animation when I switch pages and everything, this, you won't have it. You don't want to ever delete the app either. If I open mine, it'll say, already jailbroken. The reason I have all these animations and tweaks pre-installed is because I've already jailbroken this device previously, so it's carried over all my data from the previous time. When you reboot, you will get this application called Cydia. This is where you can download all of your tweaks and add your repositories and pretty much do anything you can imagine to your iPhone. Mine's just crashed and it's just saying load in. This is the screen you'll get when you first open it. And here we are. This is what I'll look like for you. If I just scroll down to the bottom of Cydia, you'll be able to see that it is your broken on my iPhone 6 on iOS 10.2. The model identifier for the iPhone 6 is, I think, iPhone 7.2. Also, if you just Google search anything to do with Cydia, it will give you the answer. You might get errors like this, just ignore them, they don't mean anything. Just click return to Cydia and you'll be absolutely fine. Now, here we are just at the bottom. This is what I was on about, you can see clearly I'm legitimately jailbroken. First thing you want to do on Cydia is download a package called Substrate Safe Mode. Click Modify in the top right, and when mine says Reinstall, you also say Install. Just click Install there. This is basically the world of jailbreaking. It is the best thing, in my opinion, you can do to your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please do go on there and subscribe. I mean, you want this, and that's right now.